Let's talk about how to mute tracks in Logic Pro, something that you would think is, yes, very elementary, and it is. Muting tracks, it's usually one of the first things you learn in Logic Pro, as you would soloing tracks. But I'm going to go one level deeper on this to explain some things you might not see surface level in Logic when it comes to muting, which can increase your productivity when you're working mostly editing in Logic. And specifically, I'm going to talk about an example uh, with vocal comping. This is a song example I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be focusing on this track here. It's called First Verse Vox. So this is a comp that I've done. If we just zoom in on this, I can hold Control Option to make the magnifying glass, just make a big square over that, or sorry, rectangle. I have a better view of my vocal comp here. So I have many different regions. You know how to mute this track if we want to listen to just the instrumental of the track. I would just press M on my keyboard and that mutes every region and the entire track. So it's just a bird's eye view of that. Just press M, it mutes the track and I can press M to get that off. That's not what I want to talk about in this video or I'll this video would just be completely short. Here's the level deeper than that and what's behind um, the surface in Logic. You can mute specific regions in Logic by doing Control M. So if I click on any of these regions that I maybe I'm not sure about or I don't want that part in the song, click the region, do Control M, and I mute that specific region. So that won't be affected by when I mute the entire track and I unmute the entire track, this region is still going to be muted. You can also go on top left here under region. You see how it says 14 selected? That's because I have all of these 14 selected regions. If I just click on this one muted region, I can go down here and I can see at the top it's muted. So that's what Control M does. That's It clicks this button on. That goes for other things in this region editor as well. There's usually shortcuts to these specific things like loop. The shortcut up for the loop is L. So if I just press L, that's going to go on. If I just press Control M, mute is going to go on. That isn't reference to muting the track. If I just go and mute the track by pressing M, notice how this mute checkbox is not on. So this box top left here correlates to the region, not necessarily the track, although you can highlight all regions on the track and then that would technically do everything on the track. But I digress a little bit. The first thing here is Control M to mute specific regions, and you can do these uh, multiple regions at a time. So if I want these first three regions and maybe this region here and on different tracks, right? I just do Control M and all those mute. Control M again, mute, and I mute that one. So besides in a vocal comp, if I'm going to give you another example of what you might do in context would be this. Um, I'm going to just go down here. Let's say in the pre-chorus, I'm working on this electric guitar and I'm not sure if I want this region in a pre-chorus yet. So I'm going to mute it. You might ask yourself, why don't you just delete it instead of mute it, right? Because that's basically, that's the same result. You're not going to hear it. However, I, I want to mute it and have it just behind the scenes there because if I'm producing this song, I still might want this guitar part in the pre-chorus here, the pre-1, but I'm not convinced on it yet. However, I'm still going to keep it there because as time goes on, maybe I come back to the production next week. If I deleted this region, I would have just completely forgot about my thought of maybe having the guitar part in the pre-chorus here. But now I'll come back to it next week and say, oh yeah, what's it sound like now with, with it in the chorus? And then you can play it back to hear what that sounds like. So it just leaves a bit of a hint to an idea that you think still might be good without losing that complete idea. So that's Control M. The next mute thing that I want to talk about is the mute tool, actually. So in your three tool options here, you might only have two. You can get a third click, a right click tool option if you want. You can do that in Preferences, General, and Inside Editing. You can go down to Right Mouse Button is assignable to a tool, and that's going to have three tools up here. I'm going to switch my Command Click Tool to the Mute Tool, which is here which means whenever I hold command, I'm going to have the ability to mute any region with a click. So I can hold command, mute the mute this region, 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 mute this. You see what I mean, right? I'm just gonna undo that. That is exactly what control M is doing, but it's just faster because you're doing it with a tool. So an in-context example of this is if I have this Vox track, 
but I just duplicate this track a few times and then just duplicate the regions here just to show you an example as, okay, if I'm doing some type of comp or I have different takes inside these tracks, then I'm not sure which ones I want to use yet. So these could be vocal tracks. These could be tracks from different takes of piano parts or guitar parts, or whatever. Essentially, you get your mute, mute tool up here and then you can just mute the ones you don't want to hear. Let's say I want this, you know, this one first and then I want to hear uh, this one and then I want to hear this one and then back to the first one or the second one. Going over to this one. You can also highlight and do groups. So if I didn't want all these, highlight, hold the command to get your mute tool, click. Then you can go through, you can cycle at the top or you can just go through the parts and then just unmute ones you want to hear, mute the ones that aren't going to fight with it and just go through it like that. So that would be an in-context work example from using the mute tool. Because if you're not using these tools, you're maybe doing this stuff right now, but it's just taking you a lot longer. If you're doing things that are taking too long and you know they're taking too long because you're frustrated, you're like, this is just taking too long, there's likely an answer in logic to do it faster. So whenever that concern pops up in your head, like this is just taking too long and I'm frustrated, go on Google or go on my channel and look up any other way on how to do that faster. And there's likely a way to do it faster. Here's a video here on how to merge tracks in Logic Pro, which you might be interested in. And I hope to see you in the next video.